Welcome to the show where the natural forces of letters and numbers collide to form 30 minutes of anagram energy and mathematical motion. I'm Richard Moorcroft, and now, protective goggles on as we greet our learned lab partners. Firstly, mathophysician Lily Cerner. Hi, Richard. <laughs> I seem to remember that weeks and weeks and weeks ago, I mean, we probably should have our protective goggles on because you said when you were in the school laboratory, you burnt the lab down. Oh, come on, Richard. It was only a tiny spot fire. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Lily. And participle accelerator, David Astle. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Richard. So what did the weekend give you in terms of interesting words or phrases? Just this afternoon, driving into work, uh, I noticed beside me at the traffic lights uh, there was a young woman in her car and she was just belting along to a, um, to a song. I think we all do that. Uh, <laughs> there is a word for this. It's a lovely word and it's karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> the whole idea of Japanese karaoke, which means empty orchestra, has been beautifully corrupted by a, a smart neologism. And I think it really applied uh, this, this afternoon, seeing that in action. Welcome, David. Thanks. And two people, who of course are elemental to the show, our contestants. Starting with our carryover champion, Constructions Site Manager, James Morris. Welcome back, James. Thank you, Richard. We talked last week about some of your uh, sporting activities, you know, as a, a triathlete and, uh, and mountain climber. But you've also, in the past, passed on some of that, uh, that sporting knowledge to younger people. I'd help out at sports camps and just try, try and encourage sort of kids under 13 to get out and just run and just enjoy playing sport and getting outdoors and getting fresh air and trying to get fit. Yeah, and that's something that would be good in the future. Something I'd like to do when I retire from, from the construction industry, yeah, certainly. Well, welcome back. Good Thank luck you. tonight. And ready to challenge James is Hugh Davidson, a freelance sound recordist who also hosts and produces his own community radio show. Welcome, Hugh. Hi, Richard. A uh, community radio show on Radio 3 MBS? Yes, 3 MBS in Abbotsford in Melbourne. And what sort of music are you focused towards? I play sort of old recordings of, of piano music from sort of the 40s and 50s. You don't sing along in the studio, oh, you know, no. kind of hum along to, uh, <laughs> to, to, to piano tunes. It's no, studio okey. We're struggling to get subscribers as it is, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck tonight. Welcome. So, please welcome both our contestants, James Morris and Hugh Davidson. <laughs> James, you had a good run of it last week. You know how it starts. Get the letters rolling for us, please. Hi, Lily. Hey, James. Can I start the week with a consonant, please? You sure can. N. And another? T. And a third? G. A vowel, please. E. And another one? A. And a third? I. A consonant? C. A, another consonant? B. And a final consonant, please. And last letter, F. And our first clock. Looked like a good mix to start the week, James. How did you go? Uh, seven for me. That sounds promising. What about you, Hugh? Seven as well, thanks. Excellent. Well, let's start with yours, please. Beating. And yours, James? Yep, same word. The same word? Same word. Could you verify that you have got the same word? Yep. Well, um, neither of them did manage to beat <laughs> no, the other on right. that occasion, David. They're in fact, tying uh, with a bit of syncopated drumming. Great words, good start. Beating is good. Um, I had the same there and then thought, can I possibly stretch out uh, to an eight? And faceting is there. F-A-C-E-T-I-N-G, which is to, you know, create small faces on woodwork or a jewel. Nice work, David. Great start for both James and Hugh. Seven points each. More letters? Your turn this time, Hugh. Could I start with a vowel? Let's start with you. 
and a consonant. Ah. And another consonant. V. And a vowel. O. And another vowel. E. And another vowel. Another O. And a consonant. C. Um, another consonant. S. And one more consonant. And lastly, M. Thanks, Lily. 30 seconds. This time, Hugh. Uh, just a six this time. And James? Yep, six for me too. Let's start with yours, please. Movers. And yours, Hugh? Morose. They both sound good, David. Lovely words. Morose, I particularly like. Good, uh, good find there. I did find covers as well. Morose and movers, good. I almost overcomes, and uh, I would have been overcome with my first nine of this new season, but in fact, uh, it was my lucky socks that I was overcome <laughs> by and threw them out <laughs> last night. <laughs> well, they still haven't helped yet, but I'm sure they will make they all the will. difference eventually. I we'll hope. find that nine. So, six each for James and Hugh, still neck and neck. First numbers game of the week next, and there are up to ten points available, depending on just how close our contestants get to the randomly generated target number. James, choose first, please. Uh, same combination as last week, please. One large and five small. Thanks, James. One large and five small. And our first set of numbers for the week. Four, eight, three, three, Six and the large number is 75. The target to reach is 942. Thanks, Lily. Let's chase it. Well, James, with a fairly big target like that, how did you go with the uh, five small and only one big? Nine, three, six. So you're six off, but well within the scoring. What about you, Hugh? I didn't get close. Sorry, Richard. Not to worry. James, take us through your method. So I did eight plus four for 12. Eight plus four is 12. Multiplied by 75 to give 900. By 75 is 900. And then I did three plus three equals six. Three plus three is six. Multiplied by the six to give 36 and add it on. 936. Well done, James. Good work. What about you, Lily? Uh, just as James started, I did 12 by 75, but I did a little bit of tweaking. So um, I got the 12 by multiplying the 3 and the 4. Um, and then I added 3 to the 75 and multiply that together to give 936. And then add the remaining 6 gives you 942. <laughs> Nice work, Lily. Great start of the week. But uh, well done to James. He scored five points. That means our score is now Hugh, 13. James is on 18. We're heading for our first break tonight and your first word mix, which is Rabbi Carr. And the clue, sharply savage. Back very soon. 